Hi everyone, meteorologist Anthony Baglione here in the WRAL Severe Weather Center on this Friday. We've made it just about to the weekend. It is definitely much cooler though than where we were this time yesterday after a cold front came through. We're talking temperatures about 10 to 20 degrees cooler than this time yesterday and I think it's pretty noticeable as you step outside. If you are headed out here across the area to, let's say, the fair or just enjoying your Friday, we're looking at temps probably right around 76 today. A whole lot of sunshine. It should be really comfortable, though, this afternoon, and that sunshine will help to warm us up. Friday night football, here's the forecast for that. We still stay dry with temperatures falling into the 50s, though, by the time we get closer to 11 o'clock. You may want a light jacket or sweatshirt if you are out and about sitting on the bleachers or something like that just to keep yourself comfortable. Here is a look, though, at the weekend, where we go from here. So just a slight rain chance. I know we've had virtually no rain chances here the past couple of days, past week or so. Here's what we're looking at for the weekend. About a 20% chance, mainly south of the triangle on our Saturday evening. 81 degrees tomorrow, then a cold front comes through. It will be much cooler on Sunday, only getting to 65 as opposed to the 81 tomorrow. So just keep that in mind. We need some rainfall. This is not going to be a lot of rain though, just some very limited coverage. This uh, update here on the drought monitor. So what this is saying is last week, none of the state was in a technically outlined abnormally dry coverage from the uh, National Weather Service there. The abnormally dry category is one step better than a drought. And so if we get one step worse, we would be in a drought technically. This week, we're at about a 7% coverage across the state. There are some parts along the coast that are abnormally dry. All that to say we need some rainfall. Still looks dry as we look ahead here to Halloween. 60s and the evening's looking great for trick-or-treating. Should be dry. Winds are going to be pretty light. Should be a beautiful day for Halloween. Low to mid 60s for us on Sunday, 67 by the time we get to Monday, and then we ramp right back up there into Halloween at 80 degrees on Thursday.